Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be sharing some tips and tricks on how to put HTV on a long sleeve. I know it seems pretty self-explanatory and doesn't seem hard at all, but I know when I first started, it was kind of complicated. I didn't know where the placement was, how big or small to make the design, just things like that. So that's why I decided to do this video and help out those of you who are new to the HTV world. And hopefully this video clears up some things for you. I will say that the tips and tricks that I share in today's video, I don't know exactly how accurate they are. This is just what I found in doing my own research playing around with designs just trying out different things it's just like my personal preference and what I think looks good in my personal opinion so if you're interested to learn how to put HTV onto a long sleeve then let's get started first let's talk about placement so here I have the sleeve flat out on a table and here we have the seam right here so the design is usually gonna go in the middle of the shirt which is this part right here so you want the design to follow along the shoulder seam so you want it to go straight down so this is pretty much the middle of the sleeve. So what I like to do is put a ruler along this area just to get an idea of where it goes. So here is my ruler. So you want it to follow along that line. And usually your shirt's already gonna come with the line because the way it lays flat, that's the line you wanna follow and use as your guide. So that just gives you an idea of where it should go. And you also want to make sure that the seam on the back is right in the middle or close to being in the middle. You don't want it to be like over here or all the way over here because that just shows you that you're not putting it right in the center where it should go, you know? So also pay attention to where exactly your seam is. Now figuring out the size of your design is also really important. So I put two different size sleeves right here just so we could take a look. From the research that I did, I found a few sizes. There wasn't like one specific size that was like the standard. So here I have two examples. So I would suggest the smallest width be two inches and the largest width be three and a half inches. And then for length, I would say the smallest be 11 inches and the largest be 15 inches. Then again, this also depends on your design. If you wanna do something that starts all the way in the opening and goes all the way in the top, more power to you, you can do that. But this is pretty much, I would say, I guess the standard. Like, don't go smaller than this, cause then you lose the design. And don't go bigger than this, cause then that's like too exaggerating and it's gonna get lost in the sleeve, you know, since the sleeve wraps around. Cause the sleeve is not gonna be like this flat. Remember the design is 3D, it's gonna go like that. So always keep that in mind. So don't go past this and don't go below this. But then again, think about your design. You can always go a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. Just go with whatever you think looks best for your design. And another thing to look at is the width of your sleeve itself because look, let's switch these two. Here we have this one and here we have this. So see, that kind of looks a little bit too small. I'm sure it can still work, but it might get lost since the sleeve is so big. And this one right here, since this sleeve is so small, this design right here can overpower it. But also with this sleeve right here, since it's smaller and stretches around the arm, you would need to go with stretch HTV because regular HTV is just gonna look like bunched up and it's not gonna stretch with the sleeve, you know? So also keep in mind the width of your sleeve because if it's too small, you have to go with stretch HTV. Unlike this right here that I know that I'm gonna wear and it's not gonna be like fitted to my sleeve, you know? So with this right here, you can get away with regular HTV. You could even do glitter, holographic, all of that. But with something like this, you definitely can't so keep that in mind as well another thing to keep in mind is how you want the wording to be do you want it to read this way or do you want it to read that way that was honestly one of the things that I tried to research and figure out like what's the correct answer and I could not find anything on it I even tried to google like long sleeve graphic tees and some were this way some were that way even on the other sleeve I'm like what way does it go like what is the correct way and honestly there's really no correct way but I did find an article about someone who gave an example of the guide that they use when it comes to figuring out the wording which I think makes it 10 times easier. So what they do is pretend your sleeve is a T like that. So now with the wording, obviously for this arm, it's gonna go this way. Cause if you have it this way, you're not gonna be able to read it, you know? So you would start with the beginning of the word going this way. And obviously for this sleeve, you're gonna put it this way and not this way. So for this one, you will start with the end of the word going up. So hopefully that makes sense. So it, it'll be like this, the sleeve this way for this one and the sleeve this way for that one. You could always do it whatever way you want. I've done shirts the opposite way, but now I think that's the guide that I'm gonna use. Just look at it this way. Think of the T. And if you have a design that's not text, the placement is gonna be a completely different story. So you're not gonna put it like this because once you're wearing it, it's gonna be diagonal and that's not what you want. So what you're gonna do is put it this way. So it's gonna be straight down the center line. So just picture that imaginary line and you're gonna put it just straight on. So once the person is wearing it, you're gonna actually get to see what that image is. It's not gonna be like that. 
or like that, you know? So just straight down that center line. Another thing that's important is you need something to go inside your sleeve since it does have a seam that can get in the way. So you know how you have the seam right here? And obviously if you go press, let's say you put your HTV here and you press down, it's not gonna be completely flat because you can see the seam peeking through. So you need some sort of layer in between that's gonna flatten that out. So here you have two options. Here is a press pillow that's long and skinny. This one is designed for sleeves. But if you don't have a press pillow, you can just go ahead and cut regular cardboard. I got this from an old box. And honestly, I use this one way more than this one. This one kind of gets harder because it's more bulkier and sometimes I can't bring my press to go all the way down and flatten it because it's just so thick, you know? But either way, something like this can work too. But this is the one that I use most of the time because it's just easier to control, less bulky. So you don't even have to spend money with this. Just get your old Amazon box, you know, cut it up. But yeah, no matter what, you're gonna need an insert inside your sleeve. Now to find the middle of your sleeve, you can either eyeball it or just go ahead and fold your sleeve. So when it comes to long sleeves that have a cuff, I tend to find the middle of just what's above the cuff to the shoulder seam. I don't really include the cuff. I don't know if that's right, but me personally, that's what I do. So just go like that, kind of give it a little fold. And there you have your middle. But when it comes to sleeves that don't have cuffs, like this one right here, I would say if you fold it in half, do it the whole sleeve. So you go like that, figure out your middle, and there you go. So yeah, that's the way I pretty much do it. Now let's pretend I'm gonna actually press my shirt. So we're gonna take our little handy dandy cardboard. I like to start with the seam side up just cause it gives me better control of where the seam is. Remember, you want the seam to be in the middle. So now that you've found your middle, you just turn it around. And make sure your sleeve stays completely flat. You don't want any wrinkles on the sleeve or anything. Let's just pretend like I'm in the process of pressing it. I'm not gonna press it just yet because I like this angle better than the heat press angle. So what you would do is once you have this ready, you would take your lint roller, you know, do your thing. Pre-press it, get all the moisture out. And then since my imaginary line right here, the fold line doesn't really meet up with my shoulder seam, what I like to do is take a ruler, put it right there, connect it, and just kind of eyeball it, figure out where I think is the middle. And then I take my design and kind of do it half up, half down, so I can figure out what the half of this is. Press it, take it off, then just compare. And if you know where this is from, hell yeah, we can be friends. And now that you have your design set, you can just go ahead and move your insert if you feel like you need to. And then before pressing, I did forget to mention that you may need to adjust your pressure because of your insert right here. This cardboard isn't as thick, so I didn't really have to adjust it. But if you're using the other pressing pillow, you may need to adjust it even more. Just play around with whatever it is that you're working with. And once you figure it out, just go ahead and press, peel, Voila, you're done. Your sleeve is done. See, not that hard. And here is my finished shirt once again. MySpace, who remembers MySpace? If you had MySpace, you definitely experienced the best social media ever. Nothing will ever compare to MySpace. Pimping out your profile. I remember spending so many hours just trying to fix my profile, making it perfect. Do you guys remember all the HTML codes that we would use? I still kind of like remember some to like make your text like bold or italic or the way you would punch in certain colors to make your profile a different color. It was just crazy times, dude. We learned so much back in the day, dude. Just trying to fix our profile. That was just so much fun. And do you guys remember how exciting it was to log on and seeing all those notes notifications like you would have new friend requests new photo comments new messages new bulletin comments just all these things oh my god I remember how exciting it was and you like totally felt like miss popular seeing all those it was like so exciting oh my god the good old days where everything was more chill no drama no filters no just I don't know just chill like people didn't really care about social media it was just fun you know it wasn't like picture perfect you know I just miss it I miss those days so I made myself a shirt to reminisce on the good old days we have myspace a place for friends and then who remembers the iconic online now do you remember chatting with someone and then you would get excited when you were see the little online now next to their name oh my god good old times dude so here we have my my 
space shirt. Obviously, I showed you how to put the design on the sleeve. So here we have the design on one sleeve. I didn't do it on the other sleeve because I felt like it might be a little bit too much. And I also forgot to mention on design placement, like whether it should go on the left sleeve or the right sleeve. And I tried to do research on that as well and I couldn't find a distinct answer. So I would say it's all about preference, whether you want to do it on the left sleeve the right sleeve it's all up to you I decided to do it on the left because I feel like the left side is the most popular side that it goes on because usually when you put a design on the chest it usually goes on the left side so for some reason I feel like the left side is the more popular side to put things on because I've also seen designs on short sleeves be on the left sleeve so I feel like usually the left side is the more popular side which is why I did it but you can go ahead and put it on the right sleeve if that's what you want because let's say you have a design on the left chest you're not gonna want to put your design on the left side because that's gonna be a little bit too busy so what you would do is obviously put the design on the right sleeve to even it out you know so I guess the whole putting it on the left side or the right side all depends on your design right here I was able to get away with doing it on the left because my design is in the center so it didn't really make a difference whether it was gonna be on the left or the right so it definitely all depends on your design and whether you want it on the left or the right so I just wanted to mention that there's no exact rule saying oh it needs to be on the left hand or oh it needs to be on the right hand no do whatever you want do whatever looks good for your design so just do whatever floats your boat you know so I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial hopefully you guys learned something thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to leave me your thoughts in the comments give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already and yeah i'll catch you in my next video bye